hi welcome to another video of h2k infosys this video is all about selenium web driver and the features of it this video is brought to you by h2k infosys which is a leading online on-site video based id training company situated out of atlanta georgia united states and in this particular video i'm going to take up the following topics the topics are the cookie class the cookie class is basically used to handle cookies we'll see what is a cookie and then how we'll see how to handle cookies the next is we'll also use the alert interface the alert interface is basically used to handle alerts so these alerts are made with javascript and how do we actually um, get the message present in the alert or how do we cancel an alert window or how do we accept an alert that's what we're going to see and the third aspect is a you know the changing of the facebook profile picture it's a typical case study which will involve us to use the auto it tool so we'll see what are the difficulties that we face in changing a facebook profile picture so let's move ahead so we are i'm going to use the same uh, windows 10 os with 64-bit uh, system type uh, I'm going to use the Selenium Web Driver API version 3.0.1. That's the stabilized version. I'm going to use uh, the Chrome driver uh, that is 2.25 with Gecko driver 0.11.1. And let's move ahead with it. Now let's understand first what is a cookie by itself. So cookies are nothing but temporary files. So they are present in the temporary folders of our computer. In Windows, it is present in the temporary folder and we can just go uh, for example we can just go to my computer and go to the drive in which we have our OS and click out there and we go to users my user is Acer so I'm gonna click out there and there is a folder which is actually hidden so you have to unhide it and click on this particular folder called app data and in this we'll see a folder again called local and in the inside this there will be a temporary folder so this is where the cookies are present you have a lot of cookies out here and cookies are you know temporary files you can also see the cookies uh, by going to google and if you go to the settings part precisely you'll be able to see cookies out here for example if i go to uh, show advanced settings uh, see the uh, clear the browsing data I can clear the browsing data with it and if I want to see the cookies I should be able to see it uh, let's let's move ahead and see where is, is it present so probably uh, on startup Google search uh, privacy uh, clear the browsing data so content settings you can see from here cookies out here if you see content settings you click you can look at all those cookies and the site data if you click out here so these are nothing but cookies okay this is how you see cookies in chrome similarly in your ie or let's say in firefox what you need to do is you need to go to options and then you can go to content should be able to see out here or search for cookies general uh, let's see where it is present advanced uh, general uh, if I can see the cookies data choices will not have it network will not have it uh, update no so let's go to security part and look at where the cookies are present remember history uh, or you can see out here you can go to privacy or you can see remove individual cookies and you can just choose the cookies and remove it as a wish that's how you do it in in your Firefox browser but in any uh, any sense uh, in a Windows platform cookies will be present in this particular folder and you can get the folder by cl clicking on the OS drive and my drive is c drive where the os is installed so you can just click out here go to users and go to your this is my username called acer and then there will be hidden data which you have to unhide 
call app, app data and then go to locals here that's where you see the cookies in the temp folder and the folder name is stem by itself a lot of cookies are present out okay so let's go back to our ppt so in windows cookie files can be opened in notepad application so if i want to open any no cookies i can just open it with the notepad application you need to right click on the cookie and just open it for example i can see one show you one of the options out here let's go to firefox and go to options and go to privacy you can just remove individual cookies out here this is one of the cookies so you can just remove remove the selected and remove all that's what you can do but precisely if you want to open cookies you need to go to this temp folder in the drive in which you have your os and then go to the users folder here there is my username and then go to app data and then go to local and then search for the temp folder out there and precisely you will see certain cookies out here so if you did right click probably you will be able to see some cookies so open with notepad okay device id and all you will see or you can open up these right click and open with uh, open with uh, notepad uncheck this click on notepad and say open probably something will be seen so this is how you know you would want to open any cookies you have to use the notepad and anyhow and open it up then you will see the informations uh, like your the cookie name the domain name from which you get the cookies the session id that is created for the cookie the expiry date of the cookie etc that is what the cookie uh, information will be seen when you open a cookie with the notepad cookies in windows machines are kept in temporary folders that's what we show the command uh, percentage temp percentage in your search box can be used to open up the cookie location cookie folder in machine mac machines are present in library folder now as far as cookies are concerned there are two types uh, there are two types of cookies per session cookies that means the cookie will be active or will be present until the until the time the session is uh, session is active uh, and the moment you close the browser the cookie for that particular application gets killed itself that's called a per session cookie persistent cookie are also cookies which will die down but they will not die down as soon as the session is closed session closes as you close the browser so cookies for the web application will get killed but certain cookies of that same web application will not get killed if you close the browser or you know deactivate the session okay they will not get killed immediately so persistent cookie will get killed but not as soon as you close the session or you rather you close the browser it will get killed after a certain amount of time okay now what is the format of a cookie we have a name of a cookie we can have the domain from which the cookie belongs we can have a session id generated this session id will be a dynamic session id generated that will identify the cookie and then the creation date the date of creation of the cookie and the expiry date the date at which the cookie will expire so let's see a practical understanding of cookies out here and how do we what we can do with selenium web driver script so let's go to our workspace and i'll create a new project called as selenium 20 and pinpoint to the selenium web driver api we're going to use 3.0.1 so let's pinpoint go to our this is my path where i keep all the api jar files online training selenium and this is where the jar files are present jar and words selenium web driver jar files and this are this is what we are going to use the 
add the jar files present in the lib folder also control it to select all click on open and go to order and export select all click on finish and then say no to the perspective so in this selenium 20 inside the source file i'm going to create a class file while creating the class file i can give the package name out here so i'll call this package name as cookie and we'll see and create a class file called understanding cookies sorry use the main method okay let's go forward so first of all i need to open up let's say the firefox browser so open the firefox browser and what i can do is that for the sake of simplicity i can actually get all the drivers for firefox that is a gecko driver and chrome driver and ie in the same project so what we need to do is that uh, we need to go to the location where i have uh, all the drivers so i can go to online training i can go to selenium i can go to browser drivers uh, my gecko driver is present in this particular folder i am going to use the 0 0.11.1 version so this is the gecko driver i can just copy from here and come to my project selenium 20 right click and i can paste it here in the similar fashion i can just put out the chrome driver i'm going to use the 2.25 that is the latest version this is the chrome driver.exe i'm just going to copy it and paste it in my project where is selenium 20. similarly i can use the ie driver uh, i'm going to use the 2.53.1 uh, 32 bit because that works fine in my system as far as the action of typing is concerned otherwise if i use a 64 bit of ie driver the typing action is very slow so that's why in my comp i use the 32 bit version I just copy it and put it back to my project you see all the three drivers are present out here so i can get the gecko driver path by just highlighting and right clicking on it get to go to properties and this is the path of my gecko driver right now I can just choose to copy it and what I can do I can use the system dot set property method and the key will be web driver dot firefox dot marionette that's the key that works in my system in your system it might not work and give you a unwanted pop-up so you can use this particular key and the key can be in your com can be web driver dot gecko dot driver and the value of the key will be nothing but the path that i got by right clicking on gecko driver going to properties and this is the path so this is how i can get the path and I can paste the path out here. At the end, I need to give a terminator sign and put escape sequences. Done. And then I can use the web driver, driver reference variable, and pinpoint into the object of the firefox driver i need to change it to capital d the web driver with a capital d out here and also i can import the class called firefox driver and then i can navigate to for example uh, let's say i want to navigate to google.com uh, okay so I need to use the get method and I can navigate to google.com let's say 
type in the URL www.google.co.in and and then let's say I want to look at the so when I actually go to google.com certain cookies will come the moment I open the website so how do I know what cookies are there present in this particular website how many cookies are there so to understand number of cookies that comes on opening the Google website how do I do that so what I can do is that I can use the driver dot get uh, I think there's a way to it uh, I can manage the cookies I need to use the dot manage dot get cookies get cookies you can see the method is called get cookies it can give you more than one cookie okay there are other methods called the delete all cookies you can delete all cookies of this website called Google you can delete a particular cookie delete a cookie named you can get the cookie named you can get all the cookies and other things which are present out so let's get all the cookies out here if you look at the return type of get cookies the return type is a set interface so it's a set of cookies so I can just copy it from here so if I just hover my mouse I'll get this box and the return type will come so I can just highlight it and control C I can copy it and I can put the return type out here and let's say I call this as cookie I call the reference variable as cookie set and what I need to do I need to import the cookie from the selenium package and also import the set interface from the utility package that's done and then I can use the iterator method to iterate over the cookies out there so the reference variable is cookie set so you can just control C control V dot the iterator method the iterator method will be iterate over this set of cookies present out there in the variable called cookie set and the return type of iterator method is an iterator interface so you will be having iterator of cookies I can just highlight and drew control C and put this return type out here so I'll call this as iter cookie as the reference variable this is the reference variable of the iterator interface so it needs to actually import the iterator from the utility package and then I can use a while loop to iterate over the cookies I can use the while loop like this and what I need to do I need to find out from this iterator variable iter cookie control C and control V use the has next method so has next method will try to search out if the cookie is present if the cookie is present then it will print out the cookie by using the variable dot next method so that is going to give you the cookies present in this website called google.co.in so let us see how many cookies are out there okay I can also make the result beautiful in the console of Eclipse so what I can do is I can write down number of cookies in Google website are and then run the particular class file save the class file and then run it I do see there's a problem cropping up out here it cannot be loaded all those things are cropping up and that's because you know I have given a wrong key I have not given the spelling correctly so what I need to do is say ok to this and 
terminate the execution of the script first make the spelling correct and then I will save the class file once more this browser I will close and run the class file once more It just navigates to google.com and then it will tell me number of cookies in this particular website. So if you go back, these are the number of cookies. There are two cookies out here. And if you look at, this is the, this is one cookie. And this is another cookie. If you look at the cookie credential, this is the session ID created for the cookie. Okay. This is the expiry date, Friday 19th, May 2017, time with the timestamp, and it is an IST. And this is where the cookie path is defined. Domain name from the cookie from which the cookie is coming is this particular domain name. Similarly, there's another cookie which has this particular session ID. Expires on this particular date, time. This is the path, and this is the domain from which the cookie is coming. Now, if we want, I can delete the cookies also. For deleting the cookies, okay. Uh, for let's say I want to delete the cookies. Before deleting the cookies, let's write down something. Uh, let's do a particular process in which let me use a Firefox Fire Firebug, and with Firebug, I want to get the. Uh, HTML script of that so I want to write down something out here so instead of this I will use this particular ID LSTIB because I know that this is not going to work okay so we'll I'll use this particular ID because this ID value will is going to work you have seen that earlier also in the earlier videos so I just can go to driver dot find element by the ID locating strategy and the value is lst hyphen ib and then i can uh, set the keys for example uh, uh, let the send, let us send the keys called as cookie again okay and then i want to click on the search button the search button is out here okay i'll just hover my mouse to spy on this uh, this has the you can get the fire path get the X path of the Google search so this is the Google search buttons X path so I can use the X path directly out here copy it let's go back to the script and use driver dot find element by the xpath expression and use the submit button to submit the keyword that I typed okay so this is nothing but you are typing in search edit box and the other one is clicking on search button to be precise and if I run this I will get the required result so let's run it that's working fine that is what I want what I will do is that I'm getting the number of cookies present in the website. So what I want to do is right now, before I click on the submit button, I will delete the cookies. Let's see what happens. Delete all cookies. So driver dot manage and dot delete all cookies. The return type is void. So after I type in, before I click on the submit button, I'm deleting all the cookies. And let's see how the 
application is reacting to it. So let's run the particular class file. I'm getting all the cookies out here. Okay, I'm getting all the search results for this. So you do not see any problem in getting it. But after deleting, can I get back the cookies? That is the thing. So I can delete. Uh, after deleting, I will want to get all the cookies. Get all cookies. So I can again use the same. Uh, I want to get the cookies after I delete it. So let's use the same set of codes. The only thing that I got to change is the cook. This will be cookie set one. And this will be iter cookie one. This will be iter cookie next. And this will be iter cookie one dot next. That's the only change that you require. So let's see the cookie actually gets deleted or not. Otherwise, let's see what it is throwing out. So save the class file and run it. So let's go back. So after deleting also I'm getting it. That is why I'm getting the result. That means if you look at this particular thing, the deletion of cookies is not happening. And that's an observation out here. So that's what you can do with cookies at this point of time. You can later further on look at the other pro properties or the methods of the cookie, cookie class and check out what are the methods of the cookie class and implement it. Uh, that's about cookies. The next thing that I want to go is uh, 